if you awaken from this illusion and you understand that black implies white, self implies other, life implies death, you can feel yourself not as a stranger in the world, not as something here on probation, not as something that has arrived here by fluke, but you can begin to feel your own existence as absolutely fundamental. What you are basically, deep, deep down, far, far in, is simply the fabric and structure of existence itself. basis of all Indian philosophy, particularly the teaching of those books called the Upanishads, which are really the distilled essence of Hindu thought. The basis is called the self. And this word in Sanskrit is Atman, and that means self in the vastest possible sense and the most inclusive sense of the word. It means yourself and it means also self as such, existence as such, the totality of all being. But from the standpoint of logic, we can't say anything about everything. Because in order to say something about something and state it logically, you have to be able to put it in a class. Now classes are intellectual boxes. Is it in, when you play games like animal, vegetable and mineral, you've got there three boxes. And when you come to think of it, you don't know any one without another. Because in order to have a box, there must be what's inside the box and what's outside the box. And then by this method of contrast, we can make a logical discussion about things. All words, therefore, are labels on intellectual pigeonholes. But then, when you come to what fundamentally is, then you're without a box and you can't talk logically. Of course, you can distinguish is from is not. But only in a very limited way, as I can say, I have a pen in my left hand, I do not have a pen in my right hand. And from this, we abstract the idea of to be and not to be, is and isn't. But when we consider being with a capital B, this includes not only such is's as celestial bodies, but also such isn'ts as the space that encompasses them. And these two go together, as we shall see in more detail as the time goes on. But now a perfectly logical person would therefore say that the notion of the self, the Atman, as the fundamental reality in which everything else exists, 
is meaningless. And of course, from a logical point of view, it is. But at the same time, just because something cannot be put into a logical category does not indicate that it isn't real. The self, you see, bears somewhat the same relationship to the world as the diaphragm of the speaker in this radio bears to the music you've just been hearing. None of the music was about the diaphragm and nobody said anything about there being a diaphragm. The diaphragm as such didn't come into the picture and yet it was everything in the picture. All those different noises were vibrations of this thin film of metal. So also with your eardrum, so also with the apparatus of your eyes. So one might ask then, just as you say, well, what is it on? What is the music on? Is it on tape? Is it on a speaker? Is it on a drum? Whatever the variations may be. We can ask the question, what are you all on? What is all this on? And the Hindus answer, it's on the self. saying that the self in each one of you is really at root one. Just in the same way that uh, you have all over your body millions of nerve ends. Each one of those nerve ends is as it were a little eye because all the senses are fundamentally one sense. They are various forms of touch. And the most delicate of the forms of touch is, of course, the human eye. Then the ear, and so on down the list of the senses. Now imagine then every little nerve end is a little eye. And it gets its impression of the world, but it sends it all back into the central brain. Well, in a somewhat similar way, every person every animal, every what the Hindus call sentient being, and even rocks are regarded as sentient beings in a very, very primitive form, right down to the lowest. So all those forms that we see may be looked upon as the eyes that look out of one central self. Only, of course, in the body, in the human body, we can see the connections between the nerve ends and the brain. It's much more difficult to see the connection between one individual and another. If they're married, that's a little bit closer. But just all us human beings rattling around, we're not even rooted to the ground like trees. And therefore, it's very easy for us to form the impression that I am only what is inside my bag of skin. And that myself is a different self from yourself.